babes, this is a Wendy's. What the fuck are you doing with your camera out? Hey y'all, it's your girl Goldie Naps. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. So past like three days, I mean honestly the past like couple of weeks, I've really just been working nonstop. I think I've had one day off of not doing anything, which I'm like honestly really tired, but the last vlog y'all saw me really just like working and I did the same thing yesterday um, and now it's today. And now that I've taken care of a bunch of like administrative stuff, a little bit of housekeeping, I actually have to shoot today. Um, I have a branded campaign due and then I'm going to try to shoot some organic content just so that it's not too much branded content back to back. I just showered, washed my hair, detangled her. She's looking good. She's actually getting really long. I'm excited about that. And I got my nails done. I got some holiday nails. Very cute. Um, is it focusing? Yeah, so it's like French tip, a little pattern. Some of the nails are fully painted, but it's really cute. Um, and it's like in a glittery red. It's giving candy cane. So anyways, let's get to work, girl. And I'm going to put the rest of my hair in a slick back bun. I'm going to put the wash Alright y'all, I have, for my organic content, been doing a TikTok tutorial on the swoop bang hairstyle that I did recently. If you've been watching my TikTok videos, I did a swoop bang hairstyle on my silk press and people have really been liking it and somebody asked me to do a curly version so that is what I've been doing. I got my swoop all intact, I got my scarf here laying down the swoop and whatnot. So now I'm just gonna do my makeup. So I can add on this curly ponytail extension and finish shooting and editing my bronded content. Okay, I just finished doing my hair and I fucking snapped um, as usual. It looks really cute and I definitely want to go take pictures even though I didn't plan out an outfit to wear and I still need to record my branded content. Before I do that, and the sun is probably gonna go down soon. Well, not that soon, it's 1.30, but I definitely need to be like driving to where I'm gonna shoot ASAP. Hey, bro, as usual, I haven't eaten anything, so I'm the verge of passing out. I'm gonna eat this banana real quick, and I'm gonna do an outfit check, and we have to go take pictures, and then we have to go out to dinner. Of course, Lou won't let me have anything in peace, so I had to give him some of my banana. All right, time for the outfit check. Top is from Hanifa, which I got months ago, literally like I'm gonna say April. Um, and it was hot then, so I couldn't wear it, but now it's cold, so it's like perfect time to put this top on that I've been wanting to wear for months. Um, earrings are Havuni. Y'all know I talk about these freaking earrings. It's Havuni and local European. I feel like I talk about them every single video, but I just own a ton of their pieces, and it's just it's it's too good not to talk about. Um, these pants are vegan leather pants from Abercrombie. They are definitely the best leather pleather pants that I have found. I really love them. I've had them for a couple of years and they just make my body look really good, girl. My boots are from Zara, which are also a couple years old. They're just a lug boot, kind of like a dupe of the Bottega lug, lug boots. Um, and then I have this chocolate bag so i'm gonna go take pictures and i'll check in with y'all later okay y'all i'm in the car and as usual i have no fucking gas because i let my car get down to like five miles until empty so i'm gonna stop at the gas station bars <laughs> so good girl i love this ponytail it is so cute okay anyways i was just taking my pictures i don't usually like film myself shooting content just because girl i live in a small town i don't need to reveal my location um i did try to find somewhere else to shoot today 
the locations I found were not giving. So I feel like I'm becoming like more confident just standing with my camera in Mississippi. Honestly, like I've talked about this before, but it's a struggle being an influencer in a small town because there's just not that many of us out here. So people be looking at you like, babes, this is a Wendy's. What the fuck are you doing with your camera out? But anywho, I shot some in a different location. They were all right. And then I went to like my usual like parking lot where I always shoot and girl, we have pictures for days. So I'm going to have to go through all of these, check out which one is cute, but I'm excited. I really like this outfit. I really like my hair. I really like my makeup. Oh, I love days like this where it's like everything is just, it works, you know? Mm. Period. Um, so now I'm going to drive my house all the way back home so I can meet up with my boyfriend and we can go out to dinner. Um, we are going to, so one of the vlogs, I think episode three, I went to LV's for happy hour and one of LV's like catering chefs, they're doing a pop-up at a bar next door. And the pop-up is going to have ramen. And I have yet to find good ramen in Jackson. Like, there is none. I've tried every place that offers ramen. There's no good ramen out here. Um, so just knowing how good LV's food is, I, I follow them. And they post it. They always have these, like, cute little... I just love LV's. I'm an LV stan. But they always have really dope events on top of just, like, being a phenomenal restaurant. And so today, the event that they're collaborating with good bar on is like a ramen pop-up and I just feel like it's gonna be good because they know how to make everything else good the ramen gotta be good so we're gonna go back home we're gonna pick up my boyfriend we're gonna make him drive because I'm in the mood to be a passenger seat princess and then we're gonna go out to Zeta y'all We just we just came back from the pop-up event um that's a bullshit it wasn't bad the the ramen itself was very good but the bowls were tiny and it was like tiny paper bowls and like these tiny wooden spoons which is just not ideal for eating ramen i will say the flavor was super good like if they put that on the menu at the restaurant like i would order it it was very good it was just freezing cold outside it was an outdoor event and the ramen itself was like kind of cold which is not how i would like to eat ramen and eating it was not an enjoyable experience because it was a super shallow paper bowl Ramen's and a shallow a scam. it's not a scam ramen is yummy and delicious ramen's already borderline a scam so they get scammed off of scam that's crazy that's wild that's it true. was overpriced though it was like a tiny paper bowl for 16 dollars. it should have been Listen, 10 max Hey y'all, um, we ate our food, watched an episode of Sex Lives with College Girls, and I took my makeup off, took my little ponytail extension down. My boyfriend went to sleep, but I still have a bunch of work to do, so I'm about to edit some branded content that I shot today, and also edit the ponytail tutorial that I did for TikTok, and... I'm backed up on editing pictures too so I'm gonna just try to get a bunch of things out of the way tonight because honestly after tonight I really just need a break because I've only had one full day off since Thanksgiving so it's, it's been a lot hey y'all it is the next morning me and my little baby bean are here say hi baby beans oh you say hello that's very good baby Oh, I bought myself a Christmas gift, so I'm going to show y'all because I, I want to know your thoughts. And my brother bought me a Christmas gift, my older brother who lives in San Francisco. Um, we went to Charlotte because, you know, he just got engaged, blah, 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 blah. Um, so he sent me a Christmas gift and I think it's exactly what I asked for. So I'm really excited. It is what I asked for. So I've been telling my brother, like, I'm really into cooking and like making things from scratch yada 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 
and I've been making more cooking content. I just really like to cook. Um, and yeah, so I've been wanting to get a stand mixer, especially like the KitchenAid stand mixer. It's like the stand mixer that like lasts you a lifetime. Um, but it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, it's kind of pricey. Do I need it? Like, I don't need it, but it would be fun to have to like, especially because I'm trying to get into baking and all that. It's just a fun little gadget to have. And last year, it was the same thing. Like, I had been talking about like getting an espresso maker to make fun little drinks. And the espresso maker that I have, literally last year, my brother got it for me for Christmas. So I like this little trend of kitchen gadgets that he's getting me because it's just fun. And I use that espresso machine like all the time to make like coffee infused desserts, to make fun little lattes like it's just a good time so we're gonna unbox this stand mixer because I have been talking about it for a minute and I have been talking about um y'all watch me make pasta from scratch and some some vlog that I made I made pasta from scratch and my boyfriend had gotten me the pasta maker that I use so I just if anyone wants to get me a gift it's like just get me a really fun kitchen gadget because chances are I've been talking about some particular kitchen gadget for a year and I haven't bought it for myself and I love when people like I feel like those are the best gifts when you like listen to what somebody is talking about and you see that they're not buying it for themselves but they keep saying that they want it most things like when it comes to clothes makeup whatever I'm gonna buy that shit for myself but like Cooking is like a hobby that I have that I don't feel like I necessarily always want to like invest in outside of like buying the food to make. So I'm ranting, but all that to say, I really appreciate the people in my life who like listen to me talking about these random gadgets that I want to buy and actually like go out of their way to buy it for me. I just think that's like really nice. So let's unbox this stand mixer now that I'm done talking. I just unboxed it it is beautiful but also humongous and very heavy um I think he got me like the big one the one that I was looking at was like a smaller version of it I'm, obviously I'm super happy with this because like you can make more in it it's huge it is huge I'm gonna have to like move some of my appliances around because like right now I have the espresso machine the air fryer and another coffee machine there's just like a lot of machines out i don't like when my kitchen looks cluttered okay so we have to move things around it's just that like we use the air fryer a lot so it's like doesn't make sense to put the air fryer away to like put the stand mixer there but the stand mixer is really cute i don't know so i think i'm only gonna keep the stand mixer out because it's cute so so if you want to use the air fryer you're gonna have to take it out of the storage okay okay i moved some things around this is where my espresso machine originally was because they're both very like long appliance this is huge but it doesn't look big when it's like tucked away in the corner so i just feel like this has to be in a corner and then because this is so long this was over here right and it looked weird just kind of sticking out in the middle of the counter but when I put it next to the fridge which is obviously way longer it doesn't look as big so I feel like that needs to be there that needs to be in a corner that can stay there I guess um, and then I just put a base there because I was like okay I guess I could put flowers there or something so it's not just like a blank space we also had like this wine rack and like a kettle on this counter but whenever we buy a bottle of wine like we drink it so this wine rack is usually just like empty anyways so I think I'm just gonna put this in storage and the air fryer was on that counter but honestly I don't think the air fryer is very cute it also like kind I don't know if y'all have noticed this with y'all's air fryers but it kind of like stains the tile so I just don't like it there anyways my boyfriend uses it more than me but I'm about to be like it's in the cabinet if you need to air fry a chicken go ahead and get it out of the cabinet 
all right now that we got that out of the way i wanted to show you guys the two things that i bought for myself for christmas obviously i already opened the gifts because why am i waiting for christmas anyways i got the bose um quiet comfort headphones which i've been using since i got them um they're really nice they're really comfortable i really wanted over the ear headphones that also had the fucking cord as an option to use because i have the airpods right i hate them i do not like them um they die the sound quality isn't really good why did i spend 250 dollars on airpods when i need to have other earphones or whatever to use on the plane or have to use the ones that they provide on the plane but that shit sounds like you're listening to the movie on rocks like i don't waste of my a waste of money and then they came out with the airpod maxes them shits are expensive as fuck and from what i've seen they also don't include the option of having the wire like i just feel like this is common fucking sense it's common sense and then the wired earphones from apple don't even have the right connection to be using on the pl like that shit is annoying i obviously i've been wanting to talk about this for a minute because it pisses me off it pisses me off apple what the fuck are you doing i should be able to use these expensive ass products wherever i may need to use them so anyways bottom line is i really like these um they're super versatile i use them for editing i can use them on the plane i can listen to music on my phone i can go to the gym have them be wireless and they're very very comfortable and very lightweight so top tier but that wasn't the main thing that i want to show you guys now that i've gotten on a rant about why apple headphone products suck i want to show you guys this bag that i got here she is okay i feel the need to explain myself this is a caperni bag or if i'm gonna say it with a french accent couperni it's from couperni and i've been wanting to get something from there for a while and months ago my heart was set on their heart bag i really wanted it in the red and pink but it was cut i'm like this bag is so it looks so simple but it's just so unique okay uh, i'm giving i'm giving my spiel before i show it to y'all the bag was like 500 dollars. i'm like i'm not buying this simple ass bag for 500 dollars. it went on sale but then when it went on sale the color that i wanted the red and pink one was out of stock and i was devastated and the other ones the other colors were like much cheaper but i was like i don't really want it in black i already have black bags i don't want it in blue i don't want it, like yellow I, the other colors i was just like not feeling and i'm especially not gonna spend that much on a bag if i don't even like the color but anyways like last week the red one came back in stock on essence and i have had the issue on essence where it's like it says there's one in stock and it's actually out of stock somebody's already ordered it they just haven't changed it on the website and i had ordered the light purple version of this bag like two weeks ago and same issue it said one in stock it was out of stock i didn't get the bag they sent me an email like you can't have the bag because somebody already bought it and i was like fuck and at that point the red one hadn't come back in stock but then i saw the red one was back in stock i was like i need to buy it so i ended up spending like 370 on this bag which is kind of pricey when y'all see it so let me show it to you now that i've given my spiel but it's a heart-shaped bag and the armhole is like inside of the heart hold on let me and then it's just like the heart is a part of you like that's so cute i just think it's such a unique take on a heart-shaped bag it's adorable and it's also reversible and I didn't have any red or pink bags. And I was like, this is just very cute. It's very cute. But and the, I will say the leather is very good quality. But it's such a simple concept that I'm like, bro, I cannot believe I spent $370 on this bag. And it's literally just two pieces of leather sewn together. There's no zipper. There's no nothing. It's just like, it's just a tote bag. It's just a tote bag. Like I got it for a decent price. Like I did get it on sale because I was not about to spend. Like for what you're getting, I don't feel like it's worth like five hundred dollars. Um, I will be honest with myself. But I do love it. I just don't think the pricing is right. I think this should not be more than like two or two fifty. But I had wanted this bag for so long. I just feel like 
I shouldn't send it back because now there's no more on the internet. Like they're, this was the last one on all of the internet. So yeah, I just feel like I should keep it. It's different, it's different. I feel like I'm like convincing myself, but when I look at it in the mirror, when I look at myself, I'm just like, if I saw somebody with this bag, I'd be like, where'd you get that? Cause that is fire. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. I already know, like, it's not a sound purchase. I feel like, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it though. I'm gonna keep it. But I still wanna know your thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing. I'm also gonna clean up my kitchen. My office is in fucking shambles. Like, it looks like shit. I have not even unpacked since charlotte there's clothes everywhere like it's embarrassing that seems like something i need to t spend a full day tackling though but i will clean up a little bit just around the rest of the apartment but maybe tomorrow we'll tackle like trying to actually like clean up my office because it's, re it's really hard to work in there when like it's messy as hell but anyways thanks for coming to my fashion show i'm looking at my back that i bought I just finished doing my base makeup and I'm gonna put on this lippy which I feel like is like a really good red lip for my skin tone usually red lips don't look that great on me but this is the Laura Mercier red chocolate lip liner I feel like that's kind of Christmassy for a Christmas party and now on top I'm gonna add the Dior lip glow oil which I got this recently and it's in the shade I have no idea what shade this is but it is like a dark red color Put it on. I really love how that looks because it's red without being overwhelming now, from now on, I'm not going to look for red. I'm going to look for cranberry tones. That's what this is giving. Okay, now I'm just installing the same ponytail I had on yesterday. I'm going to separate it a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and install this. Gosh. It's just a basic wrap ponytail. Our scent of the night is going to be Somebody Wood by Fleur. Fleur? Not sure how you pronounce that, but it's a woodsy scent. I've noticed this scent lasts a pretty long time, but I've noticed for scents that like don't last super long, the smell lasts longer if I smell, if I spray a little bit of, girl, I can't talk. The smell lasts longer if I spray a little bit of it on my clothes. So that is especially true for the Byredo scents. I love Byredo scents. They smell really good. That shit does not last long at all. All right, girl, now let's talk about the fit. Everything is out grumpy. This is like a turtleneck bodysuit, which the other day I didn't want to wear. But it kind of goes with this outfit that I planned today. The other day it was giving like business casual. I wasn't feeling it. But it's Abercrombie turtleneck bodysuit. Um, these are another pair of Abercrombie pleather pants, but they're like the, not flared, but like straight leg version instead of the skinny leg version. And then I have on the XL Arigatos that y'all have seen a million times. And this bag is from Giarite, and y'all have seen me wear this too. And these earrings, Hugo Crate.
I'm just checking in um because I haven't filmed anything since last night after the party the little Christmas party was super fun um it was open bar and they had like food or whatever and it was just a bunch of people that are usually at the tennis club that my boyfriend and I usually go to so that was fun and then today I wish I had a vlog because today was actually more eventful than I thought it was gonna be but I forgot my camera so I couldn't film anything but I just I just didn't plan to really do anything that interesting um but I went to drills tennis drills this morning at a different tennis club or whatever called river river hills girl let me talk properly river hills which usually i play on hard court but river hills has clay courts and i don't know if anybody watching this cares about tennis but like the french open is usually played on clay court you kind of like slide around a little bit more and then the u.s open is usually played on well always played on hard court so there's just like different courts that do different things you gotta like switch up your technique to play on whatever surface that you happen to have to play on so after that tennis rant um after we played tennis like my friend gabrielle was at drills too and we decided to go get some brunch at this little restaurant in fondren called the bean and it was really good i love the beans matcha latte like one of the best matcha lattes i've ever had it's very good um so i got one of those and they also had like a Christmassy themed brunch menu um so i got some gingerbread pancakes girl they was awesome they was awesome it was good pancakes and they also had like this little like quiche thing going on it was it was good but also there was this little boutique this little flower shop um right underneath the bean it looked like it was like a flower shop pop-up shop but they do these like really pretty arrangements i bought this one for 35 dollars, and the lady in there told me that like they kind of have just gotten set up there um and her mom has like a flower farm and they have this service where you can pay like 75 dollars a month and get like arrangements every week and i was like girl this like in kroger they'd be charging 35 dollars for like ugly ass bouquets and i'm like i would definitely pay because i love having fresh flowers in my house i will definitely pay a monthly fee to get bouquets that are this cute because i was like oh, this is nice this is nice and they also had other little trinkets in there. I'm a sucker for like a mom and pop boutique kind of vibe. I love supporting small businesses, especially like local businesses. Like this is a Mississippi business. I really just like supporting local small businesses. Um, But they had like these different flavored simple syrups and I love to make cocktails. I love to make coffee drinks. So there's a, it's lavender, mint, rosemary, and thyme all in a simple syrup so i got one it was only 16 dollars. i was like girl give me that because i will be making a cocktail today and our last little errand of the day that we did is we went to the tennis club we usually go to which is palm bridges and they were having a sale in their tennis pro shop like 20 percent off gear 40 percent off of apparel so so i just got another tennis skirt i have hella tennis skirts but i just thought this little gray one was very cute so i got her she was originally 42.99 but then it was extra 40 percent off so I was like yes please put that in my bag expeditiously and then i also like tested out a bunch of rackets because i was deciding whether or not to buy a new racket um which when i started tennis i really did not realize how much rackets are um, each racket is like $250 and then you have to get it strung and all this extra stuff and you kind of have to figure out how you like to play to figure out which racket you want to get. Um, so I was just trying to decide whether or not I wanted to get a new one. There was one that I tried that I really liked, um, but I just was like, do I really want to spend $250 on a racket right now when I do already have a racket? It's just nice to be able to have like a variation, you know what I'm saying? But um that's an expense for another day girl that's an expense for another day but anywho i had a lot of fun today and this is like my little winter tennis attire i bought these little like thermal turtlenecks last year and didn't wear them but i don't know this like crew neck with the turtleneck underneath it's giving very prep school it is giving very georgetown honestly it was really funny because uh, there's just not a lot of black folks playing tennis if i am be honest like a lot of the time it just be me and my boyfriend the only black people there um but the georgetown sweater is definitely 
conversation starter amongst people that play tennis. So that was funny because I, I generally don't have a whole lot in common with other people that are on the court, but Georgetown was definitely a talking point today. So I'm like, maybe I should always wear Georgetown gear. Oh, we, could, we could chit chat about that. Girl, at this point, I don't even know <laughs> what is in this vlog. It has been all over the damn place. I just finished three, blah, blah, girl. I finished three strand twists in my hair just now because I have a flight to catch to Houston in like, not very long. I have to go and I'm not even done packing. Um, but I'm gonna cut this vlog off here and I'm gonna catch y'all in Houston. <laughs>